Today's quest brings the adventure squad through the archipelago of the Pacific Northwest. While they attempt to navigate this aquatic maze, the goal of this quest is to stash two treasure tokens for you along their way. And if you find yourself brave enough to find one of these tokens, you shall be rewarded with a brand new Bell XR Spherical of your choice. Let us join the adventure squad now as they go headlong into the unknown. Here we go! The bike path infrastructure in downtown Seattle is remarkable. I'm just saying. They even have a little comfortable foot spot for you to, to rest your foot at while you wait for the light. On the second avenue, cycle track. Bainbridge Island. You want some? Mm. Oh, and that's Jeff. The adventure continues. So we are deep on Bainbridge Island. We're heading to Quelcine, and along the way, I'm gonna be stashing some of these Bell EBD treasure cubes. So how this will work with the cubes is if you find it, you scan the QR code, you send the email, and let them know if you want the XR Spherical or the Falcon Mips hat, lid, helmet, whatever. Whatever color, whatever size you want. It's that simple, and the token is yours to keep. All you gotta do is find it, so stay tuned. We're gonna, we're gonna stash this guy for you. Where are we gonna stash it? Is that car still behind me? Prerequisite! Highway miles! Life could end so sudden if he starts to chew. Oh, hey, Editing Dustin. Uh, this ride's good so far. How does it turn out? Today I'm running my Stinner Refugio, hand-built titanium all-road machine out of Santa Barbara. It's got 700 by 40 Pirelli Cinturato hards with Chris King bits and bobs. Oh, I just put this Ergon bar tape on it. Comfortable as all get out, I'm just saying. It's a two by with a small cluster in the back. This bike gets it done and then some. How are we doing back there? Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, and I painted it myself a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. Right at the start of Hyperspace Trail, I'm gonna stash the first Bell EBD token. Hyperspace Trail. Down there. Good luck. Hey, and also, the last time we did a treasure hunt in the Olympic Peninsula, so it took someone up to two months to find this thing. So if you're interested, go for it because people are sleeping. I don't know what the deal is. What are you, what are you eating there? What is that? This is a sad state of affairs. A stale hoagie with peanut butter, honey, and coconut oil. You know, but you have the word hoagie in your lexicon for the day. So that's a win. Or single tracking. <laughs> Okay, so first we're gonna take wizard stick, then we gotta go to itchy finger, followed by bobsled and sticky wicket. Oh boy! Whoa! Good flow back here. Real talk. Kind of a bummer with the loaded bike, but still fun. Oh. Hey Jeff. Yes. Hey, tell me about your camera. This is a Sony Alpha 5100 from like 2013. And it's got a nifty 50 on there, 50 f1.8 on a prototype sling that I'm trying out. Check it out, here's the cool bit. You sling it around the back and then you take this little ball, pop it in your pocket. And that's how it works. <laughs> Follow jeffdangledongle.com for more camera <laughs> flying action. <laughs> Huh? I call this prerequisite tree time. Oh. 
I love a good comment box. Poor Gamble has its own comment box. Your opinion matters to us. You're, you're doing a great job. Just, just keep doing what you're doing. What? At this point, this is just utility eating. How are we feeling, Ron? Good. Still steady. Steady pumping. Getting there. Also, just shout out Bell for sponsoring this week's video. Bunch of players over there. And check out the spherical. It's the helmet that I actually ride. Or the Falcon. They work great for mountain bike, gravel bike, even road. One helmet to rule them all. I'll put some links down below. Holy That's a chocolate trash. Here it is. Okay, we're at kilometer 69.7. We are on this epic ramble ribbon of gravel. It's real good. And we're at a three-way intersection. So I'm gonna drop token number two. Your rock is your way marker. Good luck, find that thing, scan the code, send the email, tell them what helmet you would like. With these 40s, this feels way more real than it is. All right, we're like 47 miles in. I have a tiny bit of water. Jeff's out of water. Hey, you got any water? No, no water. I'm totally out. Really? Really. Ron doesn't have much either, so. All right, let's just, I think we can do this. I hope we can do this. And then there was this. Oh yeah, we're gonna do an overnight in Quilstein. The bags I used for this trip, they're Miss Grape Villier collaboration bags. I went with the frame bag and the saddle bag. Some essentials, they work great. And they match the bike, very happy. Scene change. Cheers. We came, we saw, we conquered. And the ride by the numbers. Damn, you guys want civilized shoes already? Five hours, 11 minutes, rolling time. 62 miles and 4,341 feet of elevation. And the only thing that makes a kit dip better is shower beer. Why are there three shower heads in here? That one doesn't even work. And then you just put it all right there and you let your freak flag fly so your neighbors know that, hey, you're a cyclist, you're dedicated. Which reminds me, check out this video where I go over the top cycling computers on the market at this point in time, because Jeff asked me about it earlier today. Tell me, I wanna know. <laughs> and yes, yes, I did know that this existed the whole time. My decision is final. 